What's up? This is C-Dog from Jedi Dragons Productions. I'm making this video because I want to talk about something that is very important in the gaming industry. That is, what I feel Microsoft should do to win back many gamers who are upset with the lack of exclusives on the Xbox One. Now the only way to, this can be done is to show off some of their exclusives. Obvious enough, right? So let's get into it, Xbox. Okay, I'm only joking. Alright, Halo. Now first things first, Xbox is the Halo as Mario is the Nintendo. So there should be some Halo news, right? To be honest, I'm not really expecting much Halo 6 news, aside from its confirmation, the name reveal, maybe a teaser, although I feel that's unlikely, and a battle royale, hero shooter, enhanced mobility, mob Halo mode. Oh god, excluding that last one, hopefully that's, that's all uh, I predict that we'll get. Simply because Halo 6 is still deep in development at 343 Industries. Now, as for release date, obviously no one knows outside of 343, but maybe, um, I'm thinking fall 2019, I don't know, maybe. I also predict a Halo spinoff reveal. No idea what that will be, but, you know, so I can't, so, so I can't start speculating there. And uh, aside from that, maybe some news on updates for the Master Chief Collection, Halo 5 Guardians. Oh my god, I'm so excited for the upcoming Halo Frank O'Connor edition. Edition collection, my Bob. Gears of War. Gears of War is to Xbox as crossplay is to Sony. Oh wait, I'm making a terrible analogy. Moving on. Gears of War, like Halo, is at a low point, and like Halo, it also needs a good title to revive it. Now, I'm sure we're all we've all heard about the leaks confirming Gears of War 5's development. After that Walmart leak that basically confirmed Rage 2, that also happened to list Gears 5, I wouldn't be surprised if Gears of War 5 is revealed at this year's E3 via trailer. And maybe, just maybe, it might hopefully come out spring 2019. Uh, that's anybody's guess at this point. Other than that, maybe some possible uh, Gears, maybe a possible Gears spinoff. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Gears news. I can't wait to change to Oscar's uh, drunk mouth off. Now in terms of other titles, uh, just expect a few more. Obviously Forza Horizon 4 will inevitably be uh, revealed, be it with a Japanese or a British setting. Microsoft's conference is going to be two hours long, so hopefully there'll be at least a few others. Apparently, Playground Games is working on an RPG for Microsoft. Whether this would be the rumored Fable game or a brand new IP, I really don't care. I just want a damn Xbox exclusive open world RPG for me to brag about. Thick Dark, Mech Assault, and Crimson Skies titles are all rumored. But since they're really old franchises, I wouldn't hold my breath for those. Xbox could really, really use a hack and slash title. Given Spencer's recent tweet, I'll have my fingers crossed for a good hack and slash game uh, from Microsoft Studios. But no Rise 2. And lastly, all I really expect more than that is some Crackdown 3 news, DLC for Sea of Thieves, DLC for Minecraft, and maybe some DLC for Save the K2. Oh, and indie, title, indie game titles like Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Below, The Last Night, Ashen, and more. All in all, I hope Microsoft has a good E3 this year. The stakes are very high for them, and hopefully they'll be able to, uh, to uh, deliver. Peace out, Xbox. <laughs>